guys, it's Pythia. Hello everybody and welcome back to another short tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make uh, your watercolor in your terrain a different color. Um, it's honestly a very simple tutorial, so it shouldn't be too much of a worries. And I also will just kind of talk a little bit about water because there's a lot of things you can actually do with water in this uh this game now you're gonna load on to studio it's very simple so once you load on to studio we actually kind of talked about um you know how to do grass and how to um you know do some plugins and things um so there's a there's a lot of things you can do now if you don't know how to get water you're probably wondering how do i get water um there's a few things you can do okay you have a terrain editor right here so if you want to import water you can just use this and just click um import um, or, you know, you can actually do other things. So let's say you want water, like I said. So, um, you know, depending on what you want to do, you know, if you hit, oh, if you do, you know, a certain thing, um, you can actually just add, you should be able to just add water right here. Uh, oh, wait, I think you do have to, no, well, there's, there's a few things. You can actually use the, the fill and the paint color tool. So actually, let's just, let's just look at the paint. So yeah, if you paint right here, you can do that. Now, if you don't have any terrain at all, you can actually just hit this generate button, which I recommend, and I kind of showed it in the last video, but, um, so we'll go over here, you know, you just hit generate, uh, you can go lengths if you want, and you'll click water, so, and we'll just do, like, mountain, hills, plains, water, whatever. It's gonna create it real quick for you, and it should just give you water already. Um, and sometimes you want just water. If you want just water, just click just water. Um, so, which is nice. There's, like, sea level stuff, which is awesome. Um, you know, there, there, there's a lot of things you can do, honestly. Um, I don't know what that does, honestly. I've never, I've never seen this before. Uh, but, oh yeah, it looks like it makes it, like, that's pretty cool. So, um, going into the color stuff. Now, um, paint-wise, yeah, this is just the paint. You don't need to worry about this. But what we're going to look at, actually, is um, right here in this top right, there's this terrain button. You're going to click it. Now, uh, material colors is a great way of looking through here, and you can look at material colors, whether that's ice and waters and all this stuff. Grass length, all that. You can turn that off if you want. It's just the watercolor right here. Now, um, depending on what you want to do, you can add reflectance. Uh, you know, you can turn on transparency, which, like, makes it transparent as much as, like, you know, whatever you want. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do. You can actually change sizes of, like, the wave size, um, which is awesome. You can also, like, do, like, speed, which is really, really cool. So, you know, depending on what game you're making, this is a great way of, you know, adding adding certain things. Um, reflectance is great. I'd always keep that on. And then watercolor. So that's pretty much the main thing we're talking about is watercolor. So yeah, if you want to mess around with this and change it to how you're like, you can. Now, what I was kind of mentioning with watercolor, and it's honestly really cool, is, you know, depending on your game, if you want to make it like lava, you know, like just like what I was doing right here, you can make it lava. You can make it uh, anything you really want. Some people might have a game. They just want like some really weird looking water, you know, like you can do some cool stuff. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do. Um, and yeah, I mean, when it comes to lighting and stuff, so like this might not look black, it might look a little blue because of the lights, you know, depending on how you do lighting and things like that, um, there's there's a lot of, you know, ways of going around this. Now, another thing you can do, uh, I think links are anime water. <laughs> Let's see if there's a pack. Um, yeah, so if you want like cartoon water, um, just go in the toolbox. There should be some things. I actually was going to make a tutorial on this later, but like something like this is also great if you want to make like those, those anime games or like the, you know, cartoonish kind of style of things. Um, a lot of people also have like scripts with, um, you know, just colors and just a block. So if you want to do something like that, you can do that. It's also just like a certain way of doing it. This is actually great if you want to make like water that looks like lava, but just kill people if they touch it. But also you can just put a part in here and just not worry about that but water is a great function and a great way of doing physics depending on what your game is so i really recommend you utilizing it um but yeah that's uh that's it you guys nothing too crazy i hope you did enjoy this little short tutorial and um i will catch you in the next video